Let's make some cheesy chorizo molitas on the local cooker's griddle. Let's prep up the veggies first. We're gonna do bell peppers, red and green, and sweet onion. We're also gonna be mincing up four garlic cloves, tomatoes, cut them in quarters, jalapeno peppers is gonna be for our salsa. So is this red onion. Cilantro. All right, we're gonna start it off on sear mode. Get these ingredients nice and charred up and tender. On the other burner, we want a nice low heat for the veggies, around 275 degrees. Once everything's nice and roasted, morcajete, let's start smashing everything up. Garlic with a little bit of smoked salt. Jalapenos going next. Last is the tomatoes. And then we're gonna be adding some red onion, cilantro, some lime juice. You always wanna add just, you know, your salt. Chorizo, we got some pork chorizo. Wanna take off the casings. Just be careful. You can do it off the griddle if you want, on the table, on the prep table. Get that nice and crispy. Veggies looking good. Add your garlic. You're gonna mix everything up. You do wanna season with a little salt. Combine everything. Then we're gonna be topping it off with some queso manchego. But we want a nice low heat for this. You don't wanna scorch it anymore. Tortillas on a medium heat, a little oil. Queso manchego goes in. You wanna just keep flipping it until all the cheese melts, just like so, ever so often. Tortillas, flip them up. Once the cheese is fully melted, just like you see here, you wanna load up the tortilla, but you do wanna get those nice and crispy. Load it on up, put the top. Then we're gonna flip until the tortilla gets all crispy all the way through. All right, pull them off the griddle now. Let them cool just for a minute or two. And then we're gonna top them off with that salsa. This was like really good mulitas. One of the best I've ever had. So these came out absolutely fantastic. I wanna give them a go.